ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is Thursday night, and on Thursday night, we here are back at Impact Pro Wrestling, another Thursday night, another night for making an Impact Bay Bay, and we're here in Chicago, Illinois, and it's going to be one hell of a show, I guarantee you that. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're going to start off this episode of Impact Pro Wrestling with a message here from our Impact Pro Wrestling General Manager, of course that being this one and only Danielle Gabriel. No doubt she's going to come out here to uh, confront what we learned Sunday at Golden Boy in regards to who will be the number one contender for Beast's IPW World Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, huge news just announced for the pay-per-view in four weeks at Hell on Earth. And huge news released tonight about the main event, a triple threat match. Jack Smith, Danny Myers, Austin Famous. It's going to be huge. Ladies and gentlemen, while we may know what the main event is, we still have three matches leading up to that main event, match, match number four. But this right here, what you're seeing right now, is match numero uno. It's gonna be Kevin Magic, the Magic Man, against the amazing Mr. Amazing. And like I said, this is match number one, and it's coming up next. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it is time for our match to begin our very first match of the night. It's going to be this man, Mr. Amazing, going one-on-one -on -one with the Magic Man, Kevin Magic. Gotta believe this match holds a lot of implications here for Mr. Amazing. Of course, just coming up short. Last Sunday night at Golden Boy against Peter Young, but of course that's, that just wasn't any normal match. He came up short, not only in the match, but came up short in his opportunity to be the number one contender. Of course, we knew that though, Peter Young will be going one-on-one -on -one with Beast in four weeks coming Sunday at Hell on Earth for the IPW World Championship. But that could have been Mr. Amazing. you got to believe that's on his mind. Last night's loss to Peter Young, he's... It's got to be on his mind, got to be weighing heavily, although, well, it is definitely on his mind. He cannot be thinking about that too much. Dwell on the past, and you'll never be able to live in the present or in the future. And he's got to be living in the present if he wants to win this match up here 
against Kevin Magic. Still off the tassel, still off the jacket. He looks like he's got a cool, cocky confidence that we've seen from him before. One's got to wonder if that cocky confidence is hiding up some anxiety, some nervousness. And here comes his opponent, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the magic man, Kevin Magic. Gotta believe that he also has some implications coming into this match. If he beats Mr. Midget, he's got to look better than he would have if he had beat some other guy who was not in the number one contenders match last night. That's got to put him in line for a championship opportunity or at least a number one contenders opportunity. One's got to wonder what Kevin Magic's thinking going into this match. Maybe he's thinking he's going to have a harder time beating someone who was in the number one contenders match last night or an easier time beating a guy who lost the number one contenders match last night. Of course, it's all in these two men's minds. One's got to wonder what is going to go down in this match. Personally, I'm reading for Mr. Amazing, a great competitor. He's just got to put the tools together to finish up the match. Mr. Amazing, also a great competitor, but it's just something about Mr. Amazing that I just can't help but root for. Maybe it's that amazing attitude, that amazing personality, that amazing wrestling skill. But of course, this is all just my opinion. We'll see which one of these two men can pick up the victory right here, right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this match has begun. Mr. Amazing and Kevin Magic. And you can see Mr. Amazing quickly taking advantage of Kevin Magic's aggressiveness right there with that nice slam. And Mr. Amazing taking early control with this nice headlock. Nice uppercut right there on Kevin Magic. Overhead T-bone suplex. Mr. Amazing, nice running senton right there on Kevin Magic. And now delivering a nice elbow drop. Looks like Mr. Amazing going to keep this pace at a pretty average. It's not a slow pace, but not a quick pace at all. Very medium pace here. Oh, look at this, going for a clothesline, but Kevin Magic able to avoid it and delivering that nice back suplex on Mr. Amazing. Now Kevin taking control. Getting Mr. Amazing on his feet for this nice rib breaker. That's going to cause some damage. And you got to believe that Mr. Amazing does have some minor injuries at the very least after that match he had Sunday with Peter Young at Golden Boy. You can see... Kevin Magic delivering some nice blows right here. Oh, look at this. Setting up for something here. But Mr. Amazing. Nice reversal. Turning it into a swift DDT. Elbow drop by Mr. Amazing. And now Mr. Amazing getting Kevin Magic on his feet. Sending Kevin Magic to the outside right there on the apron. And now to the outside. Mr. Midding going to take some time here. Maybe let Kevin Magic get back in the ring himself. Nope, he's going to go after him. This match started on the inside, and now it continues on the outside. Oh, look at that. Mr. Amazing, nice reversal right there. Big knee. Now a nice backbreaker on the outside of the ring. Mr. Amazing and Kevin Magic now continuing on the outside of the ring. Oh, look at that. Mr. Amazing just slamming Kevin Magic into that turnbuckle post and just slamming his face right dead center. Nice stomp on the chest right there by Mr. Amazing. Just taking some time there. Let that stomp really sink in while he rakes his forearm across the face of Kevin Magic. Dallas getting Kevin on his feet and putting him into the ring. Putting himself back into the ring as well. And this match will continue. Referee would have been at an 8 count. Good thing this match will continue inside the ring how it is supposed to be. Oh, look at this. Kevin Magic not being able to get anything going there. Going for a... Looks like a half suplex there. He had one arm locked, but Mr. Amazing able to fight out of it. Nice elbow to the back of the head right there performed by Mr. Amazing. Pin four right here by Amazing. He only got one there. Kevin Magic able to kick out. Oh, now look at this once again. Mr. Amazing using his forearm to rake the face of Kevin Magic. Now you can see Mr. Amazing setting up Kevin on his shoulder, Oklahoma Slam style, setting him up for the stun gun. 
Kevin Magic getting back on his feet very quickly, but just for Mr. Amazing to send him into the turnbuckle and just so Mr. Amazing can get DDT by Kevin Magic. But Mr. Amazing not gonna let Kevin Magic get the control here. That nice shot to the gut. Running bulldog right there by Mr. Amazing. Mr. Amazing gonna go for the pinfall attempt one more time here. That's one. That's two. Kevin Magic kicking out exactly at to the minute the referee's hand hit that mat. Mr. Amazing now continuing his dominant control here. Here comes the swinging fisherman neck breaker. Pin four right here for Mr. Amazing. This could be it. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Can't say I'm surprised. Mr. Amazing took complete control throughout all of this matchup. Move after move after move. Gotta give Kevin Magic credit here. He tried his damnedest. But at the end, I guess Mr. Amazing is on top of his game. After that loss Sunday at Golden Boy, he's got to be doing everything he can. All of the aggression, all of the skill definitely came out here tonight. If he can continue this, this kind of aggression, this kind of perfect combination of move after move sequence, then there is a guaranteed championship opportunity in his future and a guaranteed championship. Now here you see the ending of the match. That Fisherman neckbreaker, which is normally his signature move. If we see that, then we know that the the finisher of Mr. Amazing, the Born Amazing, is not far off. But here indeed was the ending of this match. That Fisherman neckbreaker. Great match by Mr. Amazing and a great match by Kevin Magic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so while Mr. Amazing is celebrating his victory, we are also going to get ready for our second match of the evening. It will be the heartbreaker, Tommy Hart, that man on the right, going one-on-one -on -one with one half of the alliance. That man on the left, of course, accompanied by his tag team partner, Bobby Brock. But this matchup will be Cody Cole of the alliance going one-on-one -on -one with Tommy Hart, the heartbreaker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our second match of the evening to begin. And here comes one of our competitors here. That's Bobby Brock on the left. That's Cody Cole on the right. We know that Cody Cole will be the one that's competing here in this matchup against Tommy Hart. One's going to wonder what the Alliance is going through their minds right now. What the Alliance is thinking about after what happened to that Golden Boy losing those IPW Tag Team titles to the Warriors, Jay Bennett and Xavier Bick. One's got to wonder exactly what these two men are thinking. One's got to wonder what Jay Bennett and Xavier Blake are thinking. Because we do know that the Alliance, Cody Cole, Bobby Brock will be having their rematch for those Tag Team titles come four weeks at hell on earth one's got to wonder what cody cole has that going through his mind during this magic specifically bobby brock nine in action tonight just cody cole now here comes cody cole's opponent here comes the heart breaker you can see it written on that shirt of his here comes tommy heart Tommy Hart has got to have something going for him here. Going up against one half of the former tag team champions. Going to have some kind of implications going into this matchup. Although, to be perfectly honest, if I was Tommy, I'd be a little bit scared, honestly. Cody Cole, he's got to be more focused than ever. He's got to be more attentive than ever. Tommy Hart's got to be on his game if he wants to beat this kind of Cody Cole. This new, powerful, much more focused Cody Cole. Now that is Cody Cole, one half of the Alliance. That is Tommy Hart, of course. Referee is going to ring the bell. And let's get this match started. Cody Cole going to start off this match with that nice monkey flip. Tommy Hart's also got to be mindful of Bobby Brock. While this is a one-on-one -on -one match officially, Bobby Brock is still at rings and he can't interfere. Nice reversal right there by Tommy Hart. Nice stunner right there by Tommy. Nice kick right to the abdomen of Cody Cole. 
And another big kick. Now Tommy getting Cole on his feet. Here comes a nice single arm lock. D D T. You see Cody Cole on the ground here. Tommy Hart just taunting him. That's not a very smart idea by Tommy. Tommy sending Cole into those ropes. Oh, look at this. But Cody able to escape. It looks like Tommy had a little bit of an issue there. Nice spine buster right there by Cody Cole. Delivering a lot of damage to the back. And you got to believe that Cody Cole is going to be looking for that back to damage as much as he can. Setting up for the finisher of his, that shooting star press. We all know that he calls it the Cole Creator. Nice inverted DDT right there by Cody Cole. Now Cody getting Tommy Hart on his feet. Here comes a nice atomic drop. Once again, Tommy Hart being put on his feet by Cody Cole. And now Cody sending him to the outside on that apron and all the way to the outside. Look at this, Cody Cole. Looks like he's warming up for something here. Springboard, elbow. Great move right there by Cody Cole. Cody Cole, we do know, does love to fly and he loves to fly high. Looks like Cody Cole is taking his time on the outside of the ring. Getting Tommy on his feet. Look at this, Tommy. Nice reversal right there. Attacking that arm of Cody Cole. Nice take to the back as well. Nice elbows right there by Tommy Hart. Getting Cody on his feet, but Cody sending Tommy back into the ring. Now getting back to the ring himself, and this match will continue as it was intended to on the inside of the ring. And look at this. Nice reverse right there by Cody Cole. Great counter right there. Turn that into an inverted DDT. And you can see Cody Cole pulling out the striking game here. Some nice forearm shots to Tommy Hart. Setting up Tommy with the nice stun gun. Pin four right there by Cody Cole, although not able to get a free can't say I'm surprised though. Look at this, Cody Cole. He's about to go where he loves to go. It's about time for Cody to fly with that flying leg drop from the top rope. But Tommy Hart looks like he's had enough of Cody Cole. Double leg take that right there. Pinfall attempt, but Cody Cole able to kick out at one. Now look at this, Tommy Hart doing what he needs to do, slowing down the pace here. Do know that Cody Cole loves the fast pace. He's a high flyer. High flyers do love to go as fast as possible. And you can see Cody Cole being grounded here. Pace being slow. Oh, look at this. Cody Cole dodging that sliding clothesline attempt here. Maybe Cody Cole going to take advantage and take control back in this match with that nice fisherman suplex. But Tommy Hart playing it smart here. Getting outside of the ring. Ruining Cody Cole's momentum here. Now, Cody Cole with that nice slam right there to the mat. Cody Cole and Tommy Hart back in the ring, of course. Pin four right here, attempted by Cody Cole. That's one. Tommy Hart able to kick out. Still not a three count here. It's been a great match between both of these men. Another reverse DDT. Oh, look at this. Looks like. Cody Cole setting up Tommy for the power bomb. Power bomb, face buster into the turnbuckle. That's gonna cause some damage. Oh, look at this Cody Cole. Nice guillotine leg drop right there. An underrated move right there in Cody Cole's arsenal. Now look at this Cody Cole setting up. Tommy Hart with that nice Falcon Arrow. Pinfall right here attempt by Cody Cole. That's gotta be it. I, I'm, I'm calling it right now. And I was wrong. Tommy Hart able to kick out the Falcon Arrow by Cody Cole, but we know the Falcon Arrow is gonna set up for the Cole creator. If you haven't seen it, you're gonna be amazed. The shooting star press performed by Cody Cole is something to behold. Cody Cole setting up Tommy Hart here. 
Snapmare right there by Cody Cole. Drop kick to the back. Look at this. Looks like Cody Cole. He might be ready for it. He's climbing up to the top rope. It's time for the Cole Creator. Pinfall right there by Cody Cole. That's one, dos, three. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Cody Cole, representing the Alliance in a great one-on-one -on -one contest. It's been a great night so far here on IPW, and the theme of IPW so far has been complete domination. Mr. Amazing almost completely dominating Kevin Magic, and now Cody Cole almost completely dominating Tommy Hart here, both with successful victories here. Great matches by both of these men. Here we see the Falcon Arrow. I thought that was it, Legion. I thought this Falcon Arrow was going to be the one, two, three, but it was not. Tommy Hart proving some resilience, proving how much heart he has by kicking out of that. But he couldn't kick out of this right here. The finish of the match, the Cole Creator, the Shooting Star Press. Great match here by Cody Cole. One's got to wonder what is on his mind here. Thinking about what happened at Sunday at Golden Boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like Cody Cole and Bobby Brock have something to say to the IPW fans here in attendance. Cody Cole getting a mic. Bobby Brock also getting a mic. Let's see what these two men have to say. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we've just heard all we're going to hear from the Alliance regarding their match in four weeks at Hell on Earth when they go against the Warriors, Jay Bennett and Xavier Blake in their rematch for the Impact Pro Wrestling Tag Team titles. But now moving on to tonight, keeping it right here on this Thursday night, it is time for our third match of the evening. It's going to be the phenomenal one. Peter Young, the number one contender for the Impact Pro Wrestling World Championship, who will be going against the Beast, like I said, in four weeks at Hell on Earth, against Heath Gold, the golden boy, the gold one. We will see if Peter Young will be able to create momentum for himself or if all of that momentum will stop and be turned to solid gold by Heath Gold and his gold maker. This match is match number three and it's coming up next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our third match of the evening. And here comes one of the two men that will be competing in our third match. Here comes the phenomenal one. Here comes Peter Young. And not only is Peter Young the phenomenal one. He is also the number one contender for the Impact Pro Wrestling World Heavyweight 
championship, meaning that in four weeks at Impact Pro Wrestling's next pay per view, it will be this man, the phenomenal Peter Young, going up against the reigning and defending IPW World Heavyweight Champion. Peter Young will be going up against the champion, Beast. Peter Young has got to get all the momentum he can. He's already riding a huge team of momentum after his victory Sunday when he defeated Mr. Midding to earn that number one contender position. But he's got to keep that momentum with him as long as he can and as best as he can. You gotta believe that losing to this man right here, Heath Gold, the Goldman, would be a huge stop to Peter Young and his momentum. As well as giving a huge shift and a huge boost to Heath Gold and his momentum. Heath Gold wins here. He just beat the number one contender. He's gotta look much better in the chances of getting an IPW World Heavyweight title shot. You can see that serious look on Heath Gold's face. He knows exactly what is in stake. He knows exactly what a win would do for him tonight. And he is not in the mood to be playing games. He is all business. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for this matchup to begin. That is Peter Young, and that is Heath Gold. The referee is going to ring the bell, and this match will begin. Looks like Peter Young is going to start this match off with a single arm lock suplex. Peter Young, Irish whipping Heath Gold into those ropes. Going for a clothesline there, but looks like he did not get all of it, unfortunately. Looks like he got enough of it, though, as he can still maintain his dominance here. Going from a clothesline to a Northern Light suplex. Now look at this. Peter Young going to show off his striking prowess right here with two quick kicks and a nice clothesline. And looks like Peter Young is measuring Heath Gold for something here. Second rope blockbuster. Looks like Heath Gold attempted to dodge it, but he couldn't get out of the way entirely. He didn't face the full impact of that blockbuster, but he couldn't get out of the way of all of it either. Nice kick to the back right there by Peter Young still maintaining dominance here. Or maybe not, as Heath Gold able to escape that move attempt right there, turning it into a back slam. Heath Gold, Irish Whip. Going for something that looks like he stumbled there, leaving Peter Young fully able to get dominance again. Oh, and look at that, a great move right there by Peter Young. Just sending Heath Gold right back to the mat and now face planting him. Oh, look at that. Heath Gold going to send Peter Young all the way to the outside of the ring. So far, it looks like Peter Young has not been showing any of that cocky arrogance that we've known from him. He's been all business, fully focused on this matchup. Now getting back into the ring, referee's count will stop at three, and this match will continue. Oh, look at that. Heath Gold, nice elbow. Another nice elbow, fighting out of that corner. Nice snap, Mare. And now look, applying this headlock here on Petey Young, but Petey Young fighting out of it. Heath Gold not going to get a moment to rest here. Now look at this, Peter Young setting up Heath Gold once again on those ropes and throwing them back center of that ring. Here comes Peter Young with a springboard top rope frog splash. You know, that has got to hurt Heath Gold. Looks like Petey Young getting a little bit fired up here, playing to the crowd a little bit. Now getting Heath Gold back on his feet. Look at that nice, nice combination of strikes right there by Peter Young. Now here comes a, a gourd buster, a move that we don't see very often from Peter Young, a move that we normally see from his, his the man he's going to be challenging in a couple weeks, Beast, that standing gourd buster, going for the pinfall attempt right there, but Heath Gold able to kick out at two. Now Peter going to continue his attack.
Nice slam right there by Peter Young. And now Peter going to those ropes and look at this. Now here's some of that cockiness, a little bit of arrogance right here by Peter Young delivering a nice quick and spear right there. We know that that is the finishing move of the man who'll be challenging in a couple weeks. And it looks like that spear just got Peter Young the victory. And you have got to believe that that spear was a quick and silent message to Beast. Peter Young the phenomenal one. I guess he thinks he can do the spear more phenomenally than the Beast can. Great match here performed by both Peter Young and Heath Gold. One's got to wonder exactly what Beast is thinking about seeing that spear. As well as what Henry Long is thinking about seeing that Peter Young imitating Beast like that. That's got to get right under Beast's skin. Maybe that's what Peter Young wants though. Now here we see the ending of the match. That spear like I just mentioned. That spear from Peter Young. You just saw it twice. But he only needed one spear to get the three count to win this match. Congratulations to Peter Young on the victory. But once got a wonder, he may have won tonight, but what are the consequences of how he won? What's going to be coming for Peter Young soon? Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've had all three matches that are normal matches, and now it's time for match number four, also known as our main event. A triple threat match is it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. You all heard Danielle Gabriel say it earlier, but I'm going to tell you one more time. This is our main event of the evening. Jack Smith, Austin Famous, and the Superman, Danny Myers, all going head to head to head. And the winner of this match will gain one of the two slots that will go on in four weeks of hell on earth. Of course, this match is for one of the slots to become the number one contender for Jackson Wright's Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship. We don't know who is going to be in the number one contenders match yet. We're going to find out one of the men who will be in that number one contenders match right here, right now. Coming up next, it's going to be Jack Smith, it's going to be Danny Myers, or it's going to be Austin Famous. And it's time for us to find that out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event of the evening, and here comes Jack Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the man of the hour. Of course, he is only one of the three men that will be competing in this matchup. Of course, we know the stakes of this matchup. Whichever one of these men wins, whether it be Jack Smith, whether it be the Superman, Danny Myers, or whether it be the famous one, Austin Famous, that man will go into the one-on-one -on -one match that will take place in four weeks Sunday at Hell on Earth. And the winner of that match will become the number one contender for Jackson Wright's Impact Pro Wrestling television championship now we do know jack smith has had a hot streak of sorts here on ipw let's see if he can continue that on tonight and continue that on in a couple weeks with a victory here now that's jack smith there ladies and gentlemen but here comes his opponent here comes the man that we all know to be the superman of impact Pro wrestling here comes the superman of course Danny Myers. Superman Danny Myers prepared and looking seriously focused for this matchup. We know that Superman Danny Myers had a very clean and brutal couple matches with the current reigning and defending Impact Pro Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion Beast. Unfortunately, he came out not on the winning side of those exchanges. But you gotta believe that those exchanges just made him hunger more and made him just want to fight for some kind of championship gold. One thing I wonder personally, I am rooting 
for Jack Smith. I think he's got the best possibility of winning here. We have Jack Smith who's been on a hot streak, but has not touched any championship opportunities yet. We have the Superman Danny Myers who has touched that championship opportunity. And then we have Austin Famous, kind of the, uh, the dark horse participant in this matchup. The unexpected one, the, uh, the unexplained variable. Also, Famous has not had a whole lot of chances at gold, nor a whole lot of opportunities to prove that he needs gold. All we know that this is Austin Famous, and we know that he is a famous man. You can see him basking in all of that camera light. It's going to be one heck of a contest here to see which one of these three men will walk out victorious. Austin Famous and his finishing move, the fame or fortune Jack Smith with that electric chair driver. Or will the Superman punch reign supreme in this matchup? One's got to wonder what's the strategy of all three of these men. Of course, mathematically, each man only having a 33.3% chance of going into this match and walking out of it the victor. But you gotta leave the math doesn't matter if you have the strategy to overcome it. And we'll see which one of these men does right here and right now. Jack Smith, Danny Myers, and Austin Famous. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this match has begun you can see right there Austin Famous going right after Danny Myers Jack Smith going after Austin Famous here nice strike to the back of the head right there oh look at that Danny Myers going right after Jack Smith headlock right here but Austin Famous on Danny headlock with the nice face buster after the strike to the back of the head there Spine buster right there by Jack Smith on Austin Famous. These men just going after each other. There is no alliances here. Oh, look at that. Here comes Danny with the running bulldog after the forearm shot. Now Danny going to take control here. Or maybe not. Nice strikes. Some couple strikes here. But Austin Famous able to just avoid those strikes. Giving a strike of his own. And then the... Alabama slam. Nice move right there by Austin Famous. Jack Smith, nice reversal. Nice hip toss right there. Jack getting Austin on his feet here. And setting up Austin for a nice neck breaker. Now Danny Myers getting back onto his feet. Austin Famous not going to completely leave the ring. Just going to hang out on the apron here. Try to recover here. Now it's Danny and Jack here. And Jack and deliver a nice neck breaker after a knee to the back. Austin Famous going to take a moment there. Looks like these men are going to gang up on Jack Smith for a minute. As Austin Famous delivers that nice face buster. Danny Myers trying to do a little bit of showboating, but Austin Famous is going to cut him off with a nice German suplex from the second row. Austin with a nice elbow drop to the back of the head. Danny Myers getting pinned here. But Danny Myers is going to be able to kick out of Austin Famous' pin. Now Austin going up to the second rope here. We can see Jack. Oh, look at this. Nice move right there by Jack. First going after Austin, and then going after Danny. Danny going to roll out the ring here, try to recover. And that's just going to leave Jack Smith and Austin Famous center of that ring going after it. Nice springboard crossbody right there by Jack Smith. Pinfall right here by Jack. But Austin Famous able to kick out almost immediately here. And Jack delivering... Three nice shots to the chest. And Danny Myers delivering a nice DDT. Now Jack not going to completely leave the ring just yet. Going to just go on outside on the apron. But Danny Myers is waiting for him on the apron. Knocking him all the way down to the floor. Danny 
Now in the ring, Danny and Austin. Jack Smith taken out of the equation by Danny Myers. And now it's just Danny and Famous who are going to go at it. Austin, nice reversal. Nice clothesline right there after the shot with the elbow. Now just raking his forearm right across the face of the Superman. Jack Smith now back into the ring. And he's going to let Danny and Austin do what they want. Go after each other here. But look at this. Austin took out Danny and Jack just going right after Austin. Plan worked out perfectly, or maybe not. Austin on the top rope, ready to fly for the nice missile drop kick. From corner to corner, top rope to second rope here, missile drop kick from the top rope, missile drop kick from the second rope. But now Danny coming back into the ring and setting up Austin for a fireman's carry neck breaker. Big punch to the side of the head right there by Danny Myers. Oh, look at that. Jack with a nice strike right there. Here comes Jack Smith. Nice vertical suplex right there. Now Austin going to go right after Danny Myers with a nice stomp. And now Jack going to go after Austin with a nice neck breaker. Austin gonna roll out of the ring here. Try to get some uh, some of his esteem back. Now we can see Danny and Jack here. Center of that ring. Danny going right after Jack, but Jack, nice reversal there. Turning a belly to belly into nothing by just clapping his hands right over Danny Myers' head here. Pinfall attempt right here by Jack Smith. But Danny Myers able to kick out at two here. Jack Smith going right back on the assault of Danny Myers with those three nice strong elbow shots. But Austin Famous going after Jack Smith here. Sending Jack into that corner now. Look at this. Some dirty tricks here. Just going to rake the eyes of Jack Smith. Now Austin getting Jack on his feet. Snap man right there by Austin Famous. We can see Austin just going to take his time with Jack Smith, but we can see Danny Myers in the background getting up. Austin has not realized this. He's going to move out the way. Looks like it's going to be Danny and Austin against Jack here. Nice double leg takedown right there by Austin Famous. The pinfall attempt here, and Danny Myers is going to be able to kick out. Now, once again, we have Famous and Myers going at it in the ring. Danny Myers... Nice reversal right there. Nice pump handle suplex right there by the Superman Danny Myers. Now the Superman going to continue on with his assault. Danny Myers going to rake the back of Austin Famous. Getting him up to his feet here. Just so he can get shot back down with a backstabber. Now Jack Smith back up to his feet. Just so we can get sent back down to the ground with that nice German two-pick by Danny Myers. Pinfall attempt right here by Danny, but Jack Smith able to kick out at the one count. Oh, look at that. Danny Myers delivering a nice strong punch to the side of the head of Jack Smith. Oh, and Danny Myers delivering a nice haymaker. Jack Smith lying on the ground here after that haymaker. But look at that. Austin Famous with the stun gun. Austin dragging Jack center of the ring. Pinfall attempt right here, but Jack Smith able to kick out of the two count. Now Austin climbing up the second rope here for a knee drop from the second rope. And we can see Austin Famous doing some showboating here. Showing the fans that he is the man. Danny Myers outside, still down on the outside of the ring. Jack Smith down at the time, but now trying to Get his momentum back, trying to get back into this matchup. Pinfall attempt right here by Jack Smith. Danny Myers able to break it up though. Now Danny back into the ring, setting up Jack for a fisherman buster, but Jack fighting out of it here. Going for something there, but Danny taking him out with that spinning complete shot. 
Now Austin back onto his feet, but Danny gonna go right after off of a neck breaker. Austin able to dodge the neck breaker. He's got one arm locked, and here comes Austin Famous with that nice back stabber from the side position. Now Austin setting up Danny with that great move right there. Pinfall attempt right here. And you can see Danny Myers able to kick out it too. But Austin still going to maintain his assault right here. Putting Danny Myers in the corner on the top rope. Here comes Austin Famous delivering a super back body draw. Pinfall attempt right there by Jack. But Austin able to kick out. Jack Smith delivering that nice implanted DDT. Pinfall right here by Jack. And here is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. And one of the men who will be participating in the number one contenders match come four weeks at Hell on Earth. Jack Smith. Gotta trust Jack Smith taking almost perfect advantage of this entire situation here. We have we didn't see one finisher from either of these men. These men were just beating on each other to the point that all it took was Jack Smith's signature, that implanted DDT, just thrusting your opponent's face right into the mat. For Jack Smith to pick up that victory here. It was a great match here. You can see some of the highlights right there. Oh, the nice face buster by Austin Famous. We thought that was going to be it right there. Danny Myers. No road breaks available. He just had the bare strength to kick out of it. But in the end, it was this man, Jack Smith, who was able to come away with the victory. You got to believe Jack Smith will be paying attention next week to see who will be his opponent at Hell on Earth for the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship number one contender match. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching Impact Pro Wrestling on this Thursday night. We know that Jack Smith will be one of the two men that will be going to Hell on Earth to battle for the number one contender slot for the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship. And that will sure be one heck of a match. Next week, we will find out who will be the other man going up against Jack Smith for that number one contender slot. And it is sure to be another triple threat and another awesome one at that. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you all enjoyed this episode of IPW. We will see you all next week.